Welcome to more, sorry about that, let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses. You may be wondering why I'm down here at Bones, um, yeah, I have tried dueling both. I've had three failed recordings each of both Keith here and Pegasus. Um, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to reduel Rex and bones because they both give out monsters and other cards that will help you do better in wasteland field uh, which is what Keith is basically um, Weevil gives you bugs and bugs are really good in forest field which neither of these two have and the darkness ruler gives you cards that are good in Yami playing field which is actually a pretty bad idea for Pegasus because he has like real, his monsters can get really powerful depending on what your field is so yeah, hopefully I can get her this time. I've rearranged my deck a bit. So yeah, let's go. So you've managed to beat a few minor duelists. Well, let's see how you face against my machine deck. Uh. Keith is not one to be messed around with. He has several cards that you should be warned of. Um, the first one, right off the bat, I would warn you of, is a slot, his slot machine that he will bring out pretty close to when he's guaranteed victory. Um, because he has like 37 completed that he can use Again, with it. He also has limiter removal. So you want to start off with. Save this for later. First off, I want to play La La Liu, face up a defense mode, because that weakens all of his machine monsters. Um, he also has a barrel dragon, which destroys one monster or one card on the field at random. Let's do some random fusions, I guess, because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, I didn't think it would work. Well, let's see what his card is. Um... Crap, a lot of power increases. Let's see, what else does he have? He has Barrel Dragon, which destroys a card at random. He has... Machine King, which... It's good, let's save it for later. There's some cards here that I'm saving for later. Should have placed that actually over this side, but whatever. Um, shit. Should have moved it, but um, yeah. What other cards should you be wary of? Um, fuck it, let's go. This thing's power. Fourteen hundred, so it's get destroyed. Um. See, he also has Machine Knight, I believe, which, when it's in defense mode, every all of his machine monsters gain a power bonus, similar to like the works of Pumpkin King. Um, how Pumpkin King gives all zombie monsters a power bonus each turn. Machine Knight gives all machine monsters a power bonus each turn when it's in face-up defense mode. What other cards should you be wary of? Um, he has a magic jammer, so if you try to play a magic card, he can easily stop it. Um, what's in over here? Still nothing. Waiting till I get one of my plant monsters. Um, but for now, I guess I'll. Just play this. Um, 
one of the cards you really be wary of. I'm really trying to think of what other monsters should. Okay, that's another good card. Nothing I can really get rid of until next turn. Let's just see what he's got. Oh shit, I thought I... Uh, whatever. Let's see what he's gonna do. He's gonna destroy the... Oh, yeah, he's gonna destroy the little D. Um, I can, that's almost a guarantee. Didn't mean to run. Oh no, he's not, okay. Um, I guess that monster's pretty weak. Let's see. No, it's a spell. Okay. Let's have Anthrosaurus go up here and attack whatever this is. It's Mechanical Spider. Okay. Whatever. But it's a defense mode, so I don't care. Lala Leon is a really good card to have on your field, because it weakens every machine monster you can think of. Um... So yeah. Oof. Let's just see here. What can we do? Go after whatever this is. Oh god, it's Ball Juggler. Blast Juggler, whatever. Oh god, when this thing's destroyed, it destroys all monsters in the following 3x3 three three radius, which I think is only Little D. I think it'll only be Little D. Yeah, only Little D. So let's have. Anthrosaurus go the other way. Okay, this is what I want. This is what I want. Um, hopefully, Fairy and Dragon don't fuse. Okay, good, they don't. Um, there we go. Kind of what I want, but, you know, whatever. Um, still need something that will protect Lala here. I don't know what that would be, but so, so, whatever. Um, little Anthrosaurus will go over there. Um, so yeah, Karusha does look weak now, but you gotta remember its special ability. Get play the card just to get rid of it. Okay, whatever. Weirdo. I wish I could play one more just right there. That'd be great. Okay, here's another card I really wanted to get. Just fuse these two. I believe these two fused. Yeah, okay. This is why I wanted to fuse them. To make my own Pumpkin King. Let's see here. Um, how many spaces that? One, two. Don't think I'd be able to. It might. I don't know. Because what I want to do is move you over so I get Pumpkin King on the other side of you. Uh, I want to get Pumpkin King on the other side, but that would require two turns. And I don't know if I really want to take that risk because I really need to protect Lala. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. This power bonus is gone for a bit. Um, let's just see what he's doing here. Hopefully, he won't destroy anything too important. Switch you to defense mode so the power bonus is gone for them. 
I think throw them up here. I think it's not enough. I think it's 2200. <sighs> It'll be enough for it. Pumpkin can get rid of it though. Let's see here. Let's just see what happens here. Um, see, I can move that in the next turn, so... Well, I can't even move it now. <laughs> I already switched it to defense mode. Why did he have to flip it face up in order to get rid of it? Whatever, but yeah, that's his Machine King. Again, it, it gains a power bonus for each Machine Monster on the field. Um, Karushin here will go up to 2300, and I believe Water weakens the Machine Monsters. So that thing goes down in power to 1000, so this will do 1300 points of damage. I mean, it's getting a lot of weakness right here, this thing. Because... It's getting the weakness from the water playing field, it's getting weakness from La La Leon being in the defense mode. So, yeah. La La is a good card to have. One sec. Put you there. So if that thing tries coming over. What? Um, what can I do here? Okay, I got this, which would power up a zombie. Which I do have, but I can't get it close enough to me. So that powers up zombies. I have Terra, and I am Maiden of the Moonlight. Get rid of both of them. Next turn, I will put. I will switch La La Liu into defense mode, so that'll weaken his deck again, and then switch or play Pumpkin King face up in defense mode, so that way I can gain. So Pumpkin King can gain power bonus. La La defense. Pumpkin King face-up defense mode. I believe it has to be face-up in defense mode, doesn't it? <laughs> face-up in defense position. <sighs> God damn, I got sneezes. Yeah. So, face-up defense mode. Pumpkin King now is gaining a power bonus. Um, you're a good monster to have. Fiend's hand. Destroys anything that tries to attack it, so I'll send Fiend's hand after all that other shit. Yeah, I'll lose I'll lose some life points doing that, but you know, it'll be worth it. Right. The bad thing about having every card of mine see look that didn't need to be placed face to up, so I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Power increase. I don't know what the fuck went on earlier. Let's see what I can get now. Okay. With that in my hand, now I just need one more. Um. Till then, have two Hate King Rex go out. Again, getting a lot of power bonus because Pumpkin King's in defense mode. I figured out how to make Pumpkin King when I was dueling against Bones. Figured out completely by accident. 